guys and welcome to another Battlefield 4 video. Today I want to talk to you guys about the closed and open Battlefield 4 beta. Now I have some interesting information plus some tips and advice that were given to me by people who have played BF4 at PAX and Gamescom. And today I want to share that info with you guys so you can get ahead on the Battlefield. Now today's gameplay was provided to me by Battlefield4.net and Battle Rush Gaming. I want to thank those guys and if you want to check them out the links to their channel are in the description below. The Battlefield 4 beta is looming closely ahead with only 21 days left before the closed beta begins things are starting to get pretty exciting. For any of you guys who pre-ordered Medal of Honor Warfighter, own Battlefield 3 Premium or already pre-ordered Battlefield 4 Deluxe and Special Edition you will have access to the closed beta. Now for any of you guys who don't know, the closed beta does start at 10am on the 1st of October and the open beta starts 3 days later on the 4th of October. Now the beta does end on the 15th of October so it's actually only going for 11 days as an open beta for everyone to play on PC, PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. Now if you're on PC you can actually preload the beta on the 28th of September so you can have that beta ready to go, so as soon as it starts at 10am on the 1st of October, you can jump straight on. Now according to the Battlefield website, we will have access to only Conquest on Siege of Shanghai during the beta. Now if this is anything like the beta of Battlefield 3, we might possibly see the release of a second map, maybe halfway through the beta on PC. I wouldn't be surprised if we did get a chance to play Paracel Storm and maybe even Obliteration. Now in the days running up to the release of the beta, I will be attending Eurogamer at Earl's Court London and that takes place on the 27th, 28th and 29th of September. Now I will be attending on the Friday and the Saturday, so if you are coming along, don't forget to come and say hello. And it has been confirmed that Battlefield 4 will be at this event. Now of course because it takes place only two or three days before the beta release I think it's safe to say that we will be playing a beta version of Battlefield 4. So I will try and get my early thoughts and opinions on the beta out for you guys as soon as I can. Now one question that I'm often being asked about the Battlefield 4 Alpha and Beta is to do with the balance of weapons. And are weapons such as the M16A3 which are making a reoccurrence in the game going to be as powerful as they were in Battlefield 3? Well DICE have told us that all the weapons that we have seen in Battlefield before have been tweaked and changed and they do think Battlefield 4 is the most balanced game they have today. Day. On a recent Road to Battlefield blog by DICE producer Alan Kurtz, he explains with a new level of customization with new optics, accessories and camos, there will be a mind-blowing 240,000 different variations for one weapon alone. That's nearly a quarter of a million different variations. Now if this was to apply to all 72 confirmed weapons that we know of so far, that would mean there would be an absolutely mind-bending 17,280,000 different weapon variations in total. Now with a weapons arsenal of that size, it could prove to have some positive and some negative effects. The negative being, with so many different variations of weapons, there are bound to be areas that have been overlooked, and certain weapons with certain accessories are bound to be overpowered than other setups. Now the positives are, of course with so many different variations, it's unlikely we have the same problem we did in Battlefield 3, seeing players all use the exact same setup, the M16 with the Cobra sight, the heavy barrel and the foregrip. So with all these new weapon variations and options ahead of you, it's going to be pretty daunting when you first jump onto the beta. So I have some advice and weapon tip-offs that I've been given by people who have played BF4 about which guns could be potential big players on the battlefield. Now one of the biggest game changing effects is the fact that the carbine weapons are now available for all classes in the game. This means weapons like the ACWR which is making a return in Battlefield 4 and has been tipped off to be a very powerful weapon so far in the alpha and the beta will be available for all the classes in the game. I personally really like the ACWR in Battlefield 3, I used it pretty much all the time as an engineer and I did actually wish it was available for the assault class so I could use it with other classes and at other times during the game. So that kind of weapon is now going to be available for all the classes in the game and having weapons like that available for all classes hopefully means we won't see one overpowered class like we do see with the assault class in Battlefield 3. Now as with the ACWR, so far I have been tipped off by multiple sources that the carbine weapons really are the most favourable type of weapons in Battlefield 4 so far. As they can be used with all classes in the game, it means you can run with any carbine weapon with any gadget of your choice using any of the classes. Now alongside the ACWR there are three other weapons that really stand out as strong favourites on the battlefield and they include the AK-5C and two Israeli ace weapons. We have the Galil Ace-52 and the Galil Ace-21. Now whilst both these weapons sound very similar they do have very different properties and very different potential. 
The Ace 52 has a round per minute of 650 and it has a magazine of 25 rounds. So it has a smaller magazine, but it also has a slower rate of fire, which means the recoil will be a little bit more manageable at range. So it could be a weapon to use at medium to long range targets like an assault rifle. Whilst the Ace 21 has a much quicker 770 round per minute rate of fire and it also has a 30 round magazine. The extra five rounds will make the difference firing at close range trying to take out multiple targets at once. Alongside those is the big favourite, the Swedish AK-5C. This is a Swedish military automatic carbine, has a 30 round magazine and we have seen quite a lot of it so far in gameplays and trailers of Battlefield 4. And of course we are seeing the return of some of our favourite carbines from Battlefield 3. So if you do have a particular favourite carbine that is making a return, as I do with the ACWR, you can now effectively use that weapon with any class in the game and therefore any gadget in the game. So technically, any situation that arises, any gadgets you need, you can still run into that situation with the carbine that you prefer to use. So that's one of the biggest pieces of advice I have been given by multiple sources who have played Battlefield 4 so far. If you can get very effective with one particular carbine, you can become a very effective all-round player because you can swap class depending on what situation you're in and still use a weapon that you're very familiar with and very effective with. So as soon as Battlefield 4 Beta comes out, jump on those carbines and try and get as useful and as good with those weapons as you possibly can. But for any of you guys who are looking for an assault rifle that could be up there with the likes of the M16 and the AEK or maybe even possibly topple the M16 from its podium, Two weapons have been tipped off so far as looking like big contenders, the SAR-21 and the AK-12. Now the AK-12, which is a new variant of the AK-47, has a slower rate of fire than both the M16 and the AEK, with only 700 rounds per minute, but because of that it is very accurate at range and does have a very powerful round. Now the SAR-21 is one of the few bullpup weapons that do feature in the original weapons for Battlefield 4, which means it will have a very quick reload. But that's all the tip-offs and advice I do have for you guys today, but don't worry, I am gathering more information as we speak, so I will have more videos coming very, very soon. In the comments below, I'd love to hear from you, which weapons are you looking forward to see the most in Battlefield 4? Which weapons do you want to get your hands on as soon as the beta drops? And don't forget guys, if you did enjoy the video, please hit me up with a like and a comment below. But in the meantime guys, thank you for watching, and I will see you soon.